Hey everyone, this is Terry from Terry's Philippine Journey. Uh, I think it's Saturday. March something. I lost track of my days, but anyhow, we're up on uh, one of the uh, little islands near our house and we're hi we hike around it. This is our second time. They're building a big cement factory uh, down here at the bottom. You can hear all that machinery, but which was neat. Um, They're going to ship it over to uh, Negros uh, Island over there, which is across the ocean here. If you really got great eyes and you look very carefully above the clouds, uh, below the clouds, there's a thin dark line, and that's the uh, other side of the, the other island. So at least I believe so. And there's always clouds over there as well coming off the island. And if you notice out here, it's very little clouds. It's a little hazy today, but nothing but ocean as far as you can see. It's quite beautiful, so I'll zoom back out here. So over there is Negros Island, and this is to the uh, security to the uh, cement plant. I'll walk you back up here real quick. There's another neat view, but just really beautiful. We're up probably a thousand, two thousand feet above the ocean here. Uh, we're in the Philippines. We're over on the northern side of the Visayas Island. This is like a little island we're on, and uh, it, but it does have a land bridge over to it. So I guess it's an island, but technically it's cut connected to northern Visayas. I joke around and call it Mount Baldy because as uh, many of the tops of the hills they've been uh, de deforested so it's just got grass and it's bald. But uh, this is somebody's place or something. I don't know if the company bought it out but just uh, want to try to capture but you know down around the corner I'll zoom back in maybe you can see it but down there on the left hand side they're building this huge uh, cement factory to mix and gather material for both islands I guess and they're shipping around almost everything's going to go by ocean but just beautiful just wanted to share it all with you there's a few little boats there's one coming in right there you can see him a little single fishing sh fisherman in his little boat, I take it. He might be crab, doing crabs as well. And there's another little one right uh, below him by that rock. He's just sitting there. The other one's under power. So just I thought it was a beautiful view of the ocean. Uh, very uh, clean, pr pristine and clean in most spots. And, and then this, I don't know what this, I just take it this was somebody's house at some point here, living here. So, just wanted to share it with you. But I just thought that was beautiful. I'll uh, take you with me down the road here in a little bit and we'll talk. We got our kid, the kid's dog, uh, that's Whitey. So, he, uh, he used to set the house a lot and so since I've come here, I kind of adopted him and take him out uh, hiking. So that's our hiking dog. We got three dogs, but the others are you know, two puppies at home and uh, the female. So they're both smaller, but uh, everybody seems to have two to six, seven dogs here. So they're always coming out and greeting us. Uh, most of the time positive, but a couple of times they get a little spat as dogs do so but just beautiful this side of the hill or islands very wooded uh, coconut banana mahogany all kinds of uh, types of trees I can't even begin to say it. quite a few birds here on this part of the island too I've not noticed uh, very many birds in the Philippines but uh, generally wildlife is uh, somewhat scarce because then America, where I come from, there's all kinds of, uh, you know, coyotes, all kinds of birds, uh, you know, man, you know, all kinds of, uh, just all kinds of stuff. So over here, I just haven't noticed it. I've not yet seen a snake. Um, 
Not that that interests me greatly, but I just figured then the uh, islands would be loaded with all sorts of wildlife and snakes, but I've yet to see one. And I've been here two months and I'm out hiking all the time on stuff like this. So it appears that we're heading back down here. So, But this is just a beautiful spot, uh, just very peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping. I'll be quiet a minute. So lots of... Uh, different birds here in the woods so just uh, coconut trees just everything you could think of of uh, tropical plants there's uh, they're here so just just beautiful and this is kind of a typical road um, trail path um, this is a, this is a road around the island in the Philippines this is a I would say where we're at in the province, 75, uh, probably 85 to 95 percent of the roads are like this. So, um, yeah, very rugged. Uh, most people ride their uh, motor bikes over this, and we're not talking about uh, dirt bikes. Some of them are, but most of them are just like a road bike. Hello. Hello. You don't mind if I show you on YouTube, do you? <laughs> Is she okay? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're getting some bamboo here, it looks like. Or no, not bamboo, some trees. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. They, they, they're getting some firewood. Honey. Oh, this is, they're get, harvesting a little bit yeah. of firewood. That's yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> Which most people do here, so it's very pop. You know, to go, up the, <laughs> go up the road and uh, gather bamboo. And, Plants and <laughs> things that, that people live off the land here. Uh -huh. No. Oh, my time come sa mga bata niyo pala, Terry's Philippine Journey. Terry, Philippine Journey. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And every almost everybody you meet, I, I would say everybody I've met so far has been friendly two months I haven't met anybody I thought was not nice or friendly uh, the other day yesterday or a couple days ago I went for a hike I'll just tell you a quick story again it just continues to repeat itself here I'm out by myself with Whitey here the dog and uh, we're hiking in this uh, I know some of the areas around the house but we always explore and go on something new so we're on some new thing and we come out in the province and somebody uh some kids come up to me and they give me some uh sticky rice and a little wrapped up in some leaf or something uh, for my journey at first i said no you know i i thought they were selling it and i just wasn't really hungry but uh their father come out and said no they just want to you know get they're giving it to you i said well i'll take it you know eat it later when i get hungry and so that was a nice example. And then I went about a mile down this other road, uh, similar to this, and I had never been there before. And uh, this guy pulled up on behind me on the bike, and he says, "Oh, I'm like on the council or something here." And he promptly invites me over for coffee at uh, his sister's house or cousin's house. They all come out, grandma, uh, granddaughter, six, seven, eight of them come out, greet me, sit on the porch, bring me coffee, bring the dog water, um, bring the dog uh, some bread or something to eat. Uh, just a half hour, 45 minutes, we sit and talk and, uh, and it's just so wonderful. All of them spoke English very well, which is unusual here. That, that many people will speak English very good to you so that was an extra treat for me and uh, you know, so that was a good thing then I went I got over to the main 
highway and sat down at a sorry sorry store which is like a really somebody's home little store where they sell you know a little bit of food and drinks out of they're just at people's homes they're all over the philippines so you can google it and figure it out if you want there but they're just everywhere almost every other house seems to have a sorry sorry store so i'm sitting there uh, just getting some drink out of my backpack and some cookies i brought me a uh, 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 sticky rice that the kids given me and this uh, gir girl comes out and she goes um oh that's a that's interesting a little burial something there so she comes out and she says uh i'm gonna look at this here and then i'll finish up my story she goes sir do you want a, a coke and i said oh, i said and she goes uh, i said well i'll pay you know i've got money and she goes no free for you sir and so you know there i get a free coke and stuff not that that's what life's all about but uh so uh yeah just uh i just it's been such an enjoyable adventure and journey for me um you know there's some things that are, are different uh po you know positive and good but uh overall it's you know been a positive journey and stuff so we won't keep you too long this looks like a little burial uh, like a place a private one or something I don't know it's very interesting but you find stuff everywhere you go and people are friendly greeting yeah I had some kids down on the street here about a mile back and they were like uh, welcome to the Philippines sir and you know uh, primarily in America for the most part you just don't get that type of reaction from people so just people welcome you in uh, happy to talk to you and visit and of course the nature and the, the ruggedness and beauty of the Philippines here in the province is just uh, you know that's what I've come for because I'm not really a city person if I wanted the malls and everything paved and perfect i enjoy this type of stuff so just uh you know people living off the road here and uh their, their places and so all right well i'll end it here and uh dog like i said everybody has a little dog here it comes out and greets you for better or worse most times pretty friendly about a nine out of ten every now and then you get one that's a little more aggressive so well thanks for watching everybody appreciate all the subscribers coming on i uh, need quite a few more i've almost got four thousand uh, watch hours but i've only got about 350 uh subscribers so i uh, got lots of viewers i've had uh, i think 110 20 000 views uh, but people are slow and uh, hard to push that subscribe button but so please push it please uh, like and subscribe and share and comment and, uh, I try to do that more myself since I've become a youtuber because I find myself watching lots of videos and uh, then I don't do anything else so now I'm more self-conscious about it so I say I subscribe to probably every other video I watch I make sure I subscribe to the, their channel and su support them because I know they uh I would appreciate it and I know they would so all right thanks for watching everybody we'll leave it here and talk to you later it's Saturday thanks